Just some notes for myself on this installation is the fitting that goes in the cylinder to go with the Teflon tape twice around going from left to right. I myself don't like putting those fittings in tight. I keep them loose and then I uh, then I drop them into where the old spring goes. And then you get a bucket. You got to go from underneath and you just got to cinch them all up. After that, you can go and put on the trays. But uh, clean up the, those U-bolt ends because they're rough cut. Is where you put on a nut and then you put on the bracket, the tray above it and the screws on it. And this piece goes um, from the bottom to tighten it all up. And you can get your mound of hoses that you bring in your truck. And the best thing you use is a pipe wrench, a crescent wrench, and a 15 16. You just carry those pockets to put these things on and almost all the other fittings. Here I had to take out an eight and a half inch hose in the middle tray to uh, adjust it and tighten up this slack here. You may have to adjust some of the fittings. Best to follow the schematics to see if it works first. Right here's the eight and a half inch hose that I took out and put a coupler in to tighten everything up. This is a 58 row and uh, it comes out roughly about $500 a row for this uniform system. Keep in mind as well as that uh, the manifold is made in increments of four different ports of how many openers you had and this machine actually had 58 openers but it only came with the two hoses. I had to actually add another one in here to uh, make it proper for the 58 uh, openers. <laughs> 